The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching because there's some serious spoilers about to come up. But if you have seen Avengers Endgame, enjoy the trailer. Everywhere I go, I see his face. I just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were gonna be here after he was gone. You gonna be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your jobs. What? Oh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Look, keep up the good work. Because I am going on vacation. Heads up, Nick Fury's calling you. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. The phone. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. What up, dorks? What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo's. Oh! I think MJ really likes me. That reminds me when I first fell in love. You're a very difficult person to contact, Spider-Man. This is Mr. Beck. We could use someone like you on my world. New world? Beck is from Earth, just not ours. A snap to our hole in our dimension. You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do. And you're coming with us. There's gotta be someone else you can use. What about Thor? Off world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. But I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Bitch, please, you've been to space. What do you want, Peter? I want to go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider-Man. No, of course I'm not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. You're right, you may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. Oh my God. I just always feel like I'm putting my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? I gotta get you guys out of here! Get on the jet! Who are you? I work with Spider-Man. You work for Spider-Man? I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. New plan! What is good YouTube, what's you here with a video on the newest Spider-Man Far From Home trailer. Just like we told you we'd get a new trailer, so the new trailer dropped at 2pm today as rumours said. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos. Also we're giving away a Hasbro Infinity Gauntlet. All you gotta do is subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And let me know down below what is your favourite moment from this new trailer. And also when and if the channel hits 100,000 subscribers, we are giving away a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X, or a PS5, or the new Xbox. It depends if and when we ever hit that number. So, I'm going to say careful spoilers, but Tom Holland gave a brief spoiler warning before the trailer started. But realistically, guys, there isn't really any spoilers that if you've watched this channel for a long time, you wouldn't already know. So, it opens up with a scene of Tom Holland in the Iron Spider-Man suit, looking up at a graffiti montage of Iron Man, which is interesting enough the scene that we spoke about about seven months ago, which is pretty interesting. So obviously Tom Holland, aka Spider-Man, aka Peter Parker, is devastated as is half the world that Iron Man is now dead and he's trying to get over it. So props to Sony. They really did hide this in the first trailer, but they hit it so well to the point where it's kind of obvious that Iron Man was going to die. So we get some badass scenes with the Iron Spidey suit of Spider-Man basically doing the police's job for them. And we get the Iron Claws out as well, which is pretty cool. And then they're like, are you going to be the new Iron Man? He's like, no, I'm already doing the job. So he's got jokes, he's got jokes. But we do see a pretty pinnacle scene in this trailer. We see the Avengers Tower again, and someone's doing work to it. 
Then we see Happy Hogan, who I guess is become, is going to become Spider-Man's mentor now that Iron Man's gone. And Nick Fury is trying to get in touch with him, but he's ghosting him and sends him to voice message, which is pretty funny. So although there's going to be a lot of depressing scenes in this movie, there is humor. So essentially, he's going on a field trip, a school trip, a.k.a. the title Far From Home. So it is interesting how they're going to play it. But there is a pretty epic moment. So... Just as we said literally three, four days ago, the multiverse is coming. Mysterio is from another Earth, just like this Earth, but not this Earth. If you're a Flash fan or you've read comics, you know about the multiverse. So essentially, Nick Fury's and Marvel's explanation is pretty poor, sloppy, lazy writing. The snap opened the multiverse. No, the snap would not open the multiverse up. Time travel is not the same thing as going to another Earth. So I really hope that they retcon this in the movie because for me, this is very sloppy writing. The multiverse would not open just because someone snapped their fingers or else we would have seen the multiverse inside Endgame. I just feel like because the audience is, Marvel movies are generally aimed at kids. They're trying to make it as simple as possible. But it is cool that we were right. I don't know what you guys are going to say down below about that. But it is cool that now we have the multiverse. So in theory, no one ever died. Tony Stark's alive on the Earth, potentially where Mysterio is from. So it is interesting. And it appears that MJ has known that Peter Parker has actually been Spider-Man all along. She says it's pretty obvious, which is pretty damn funny. He just wants to go on his school trip. He's trying to shade. He's trying to shade away from Nick Fury. We do get to revisit the scene where he first meets Nick Fury, but that's not actually where he first meets Nick Fury because in the ending scene for Endgame, Nick Fury's there. Peter Park is there. They probably said, yo, sup, and that kind of stuff. But it is pretty cool. We do get some Easter eggs, I guess you could say. We see spider-man pete parker wearing iron man shades which is an easter egg if you guys like that but what i i'm very interested in this movie is it looks so badass mysterio is such a cool villain although he's trying to play he's a hero but we know he's the villain but the graphics and cgi effects look pretty badass spider-man's trying to shade away from doing this mission he's like isn't thor here no Captain Marvel, unavailable. So Easter eggs for Avengers if you guys are into that kind of stuff. So there isn't really much that happens in this trailer. It's basically just a montage to remind you that, yeah, Spider-Man's coming out July the 2nd and obviously tickets are on sale now, which is kind of strange to think because it's so soon. But he's wearing the stealth suit, the black suit, which is pretty badass as the original suit. I don't believe we're going to see it in this movie. In this trailer, we only see the Iron Spidey suit and the stealth suit, which is interesting because... Spider-Man's like, yeah, I just don't want to get my friends in trouble. And then Monsieur's like, sometimes people die who you love, which is kind of interesting. It's all reference to Iron Man. So it literally is an Iron Man Easter egg trailer. I really hate the word Easter egg. But it is a pretty decent trailer. There isn't really that much to break down. We see the elementals. We obviously see Hydra Man. We see Molten Man. So it's just not really that much footage, to be honest. But we do see Mysterio in in more depth and more high definition it is pretty cool i don't really think if we get a third trailer they're going to show much more we do see london obviously we see the shard we know that nick fury filmed in the shard and mysterio goes very close to the shard and mj knowing spider-man that's pretty obvious because obviously spider-man appears literally everywhere she is but it is cool that we're going to see a spider-man movie outside of new york for once which will be pretty cool. I really think that Tom Holland is an awesome actor. He is awesome in the Spider-Man role. And he is playing off the fact on the jet, on Tony Stark's jet, he looks so damn depressed. You just want to like hug him. He looks so freaking depressed in that image. So it is interesting and it's going to be a pretty cool movie. And it's going to be interesting to see how the Marvel Cinematic Universe goes forward. Now we know that Yassi Boy Wall Street was right. The multiverse has opened. So I just hope we get some alternate storylines of characters that died in this timeline are alive on a different timeline that could be interesting and maybe loki has gone to another earth because if anyone's going to know about the other earths it would be loki and the multiverse if you don't really know what the multiverse is just watch the flash season one and season two it's on american netflix and i think canadian netflix not really sure but just watch the flash because the multiverse is a complex story complex concept but the way they are portraying it in this trailer it, it just would not open up from the snap. I would not take that. But I would love to have a conversation down below, guys. What you think is going on? Why do you think they've gone from a cop-out version of how the multiverse opened? Because the multiverse has always been there. We just have never seen it in this universe. Obviously, in the DC universe, it's been there all the time. But for some reason, Marvel have been too scared to use the multiverse. But for some reason, Mysterio is from the multiverse. But as we know, Mysterio is the overall villain. He's the one that's essentially creating the elementals. 
And towards the end of the movie, there will be a massive twist, but most of you guys who watch this channel should or would or coulda, shoulda, woulda already know this. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think about this trailer. I do think it is a really well put together trailer. Obviously, the first trailer they put out for this movie was very misleading, and they obviously had to hide a lot of stuff because for some reason they decided to focus on Tony Stark, Iron Man for the whole trailer, when realistically it's a Spider-Man movie, but obviously Spider-Man's mentor was Iron Man, so it makes a lot of sense. So I can see why the spoiler king himself has said, go watch Endgame before you watch this trailer, or else it's going to ruin your life, which does make a lot of sense. But there isn't really much to break down, guys. There's a few Easter eggs. Like I said, Thor, Captain Marvel, Tony Stark's shades. It is pretty cool. He says, someone needs to be the next Iron Man. I realistically don't think that Spider-Man is going to be the new Iron Man, but I think he will get some pretty cool upgrades to his suit, and it does appear that way from certain scenes. Mysterio looks pretty freaking badass. And I can't wait to see it in real IMAX quality. It's going to be pretty cool. So guys, like always, please like, subscribe and comment. And we'll catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.